Now, baseball fans in the city of Chicago are celebrating long into the night. The Cubs stand on the verge of history in the World Series after forcing a deciding Game 7 against the Cleveland Indians. John Hendren joined the party in Chicago. This is what historical victory looks like in Chicago. That's the Cubs song, if you haven't figured it out by now. The Chicago Cubs have won game six of the World Series. That puts them even with the Cleveland Indians, three games to three. But Chicago came from a deficit of three games to one. And if they win tomorrow night, not only will they have won the World Series for the first time in 108 years, but they will have also been the first team to come back from a three-game deficit since 1985. But history is what people are talking about here. They have one more game to play in Cleveland. This is Chicago. The game is being played hours away in Ohio. Nevertheless, people pay $100 a head just to watch the game on TV with their fellow Chicagoan. We are in the shadow of Wrigley Field where for a couple of days this week, 40,000 people paid thousands of dollars in order to watch the Cubs against the Cleveland Indians. And on game five, ticket sales had gone down because people did not believe they were going to win. Well, that has all turned around now. If you look at the crowd here, you can tell the average age is in the 20s or 30s. I would venture to say that none of them had a parent who was alive when the Cubs last won the World Series. They were last in the World Series in 1945. So it's very likely that no one here has a grandparent who was alive when they last won. This celebration is nothing like what you are likely to see if Chicago wins the World Series for the first time since 1908. Let me just ask, who's going to win the World Series? The Cubs are going to win!